Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Project Zomboid. Well, our last episode, um, I was working on making concrete ingots so I could make the smelter. Um, I ended up doing that, but unfortunately, I didn't get to include you guys. I, just, I recorded it, and it didn't uh, didn't take. So I, I figured I'd still show you the steps I had to do to do all that. So first things first, we had to take care of a corpse. So let's go ahead and grab this corpse. And we needed uh, to have a meat cleaver. You gotta have a, a or you know, actually first you need a kitchen knife. So I went ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skin this corpse. And also I got my, I'll show you some, some things I did, but uh, so that should have skinned him. So now we have a skinned carcass. Now we wanna go ahead and I think we could just butcher carcass because I, I, I went ahead and removed head last time. I don't think you need to, I'm just gonna butcher it. And then that's going to give us a skeleton, and from the skeleton I can harvest bones, and I just need a saw for that. So let's go ahead and harvest the bones. And then that's going to give us some odd, well we have, now the leftovers of this is of course uh, the bones is one, we got four bones. The other thing we're going to have left over is odd meat, which we don't want to eat. I think I, I, I'm going to throw that over here just for a second. And the next thing we're going to have uh, left over is probably, let's see, there's raw skin. I think I'll just throw that on the ground too. But I think that's it. I think that the head and everything else is all good. I don't need to have the head. I don't even know why you're able to cut off the head personally. I haven't really been able to figure that one out. All right. So um, we wanted to make some bone powder, which we need regular bones and you need a pestle and mortar for. So I do have my pestle and mortar on me. Um, you can also use, it tells you right here, a laboratory or a grindstone. Um, those are a little bit more difficult to build. So, I, you know, a pestle and mortar are pretty easy. It only takes two stone for that. So let's go ahead and make all the bone here. Come on. <laughs> it's taking its time. I had to move things out of inventory, I think. All right, so now we have four bone powder. Now the next thing we need to do is actually make an ingot and we're gonna need the the kiln I think for that yeah we need our I have my tongs on me I have ingot mold uh, the kiln charcoal and that's about it so once I get over here I can go ahead and craft all that um, it looks like I'm gonna need another ingot mold so because I need four uh, concrete ingots I believe to make yeah I need four concrete ingots so what happened is I, I ran out of oh gray clay okay it's all right, we'll go get, get some gray clay. Might need an ingot mold too, I don't know. We'll go take a look, see what we need. Oh, I got a little bit of banging on the doors. I got zombies outside. I have been noticing a lot more zombies and I'll show you kind of what I did with my base. I have to move everything up really soon. I, I, I've, it's been a lot faster than I actually thought it would be um, because the zombies have been moving in pretty heavily and pretty fast too, so. I've been having to take care of small groups pretty often now. Yeah, I already got zombies. I can hear them outside. Okay. We're going to go take care of zombies in a second here after we finish this. We'll let them keep continue pounding on the doors for a little bit. Um, all right. So we got all that. And then, let's see, concrete ingot molds. Let me make sure we got it all. We're all set. Okay. Oh, we need the charcoal. There we go. And so let's craft these other two. They're pounding pretty hard. Oh no, there's a lot of zombies coming in. This might be bad. Bad timing. Okay, now I can make the concrete bag. This is going to be uh, mortar and pestle and just the ingot molds. Not a problem. I'll just go ahead and craft it real quick. And then there we go. So now we got a bag of concrete. I'm getting a lot of pounding outside. So what I'm going to do is actually put this stuff on the ground. I'm going to equip as primary my knife. Start moving some things over. They're going to bust through my door, I believe, pretty fast. So what I'm going to do is come around them. Oh, man. This isn't good, y'all. This is not good. Oh, my God. Where'd all these freaking zombies come from? Oh, man. We're getting surrounded already. I'm getting pounding over here, pounding over there. Okay. Well, we're going to come around it from the other end then. I'm going to have to draw these zombies away from the place, I think. I don't want to take on this many right now. Okay, that's all right. So here we go. Loads of zombies already. Look at where they all come from. I think there was a gunshot. 
Ah, oh, they just pulled them all over here. I'm going to have to make some noise, probably do a burnout. Didn't expect to do it this episode, but let's go take a look at this side too, because they're pounding away on this. They're already in here. Yeah, let's just... Oh my god, just so many. I got overran so fast. Wow. Okay. We're just trying to get all the zombies away from here. I'm probably... I want to get a shotgun, actually, but I don't have one on me right now. It would have been smart. But I think I can draw most of these zombies away from my house. It's alright. As long as I can get them away from the place... I'll, I'll loop them around a couple times and then start pulling them out. Okay, here we go. Make sure they all stay gathered because I want to have them all follow me pretty much. I need another, what I need is some gunshots and some things like that. I was really trying to move up quicker. Move up a little bit faster, but oh well. Let's get them all out of my base here. Haha, <laughs> man. I didn't think I was going to have this many this quick. I knew I was going to get zombies over here, but I didn't think I was going to get these piles yet. I need another meta noise to make them go away. I have an alarm clock. I might be able to use that to make them go away. But if I can just pull them, that's fine. I can just pull them out of here. That's fine too. Yeah, they're they're draw I'm drawing them out pretty good. That's what I want to do. Keep them going down. Let's uh, get back over to the big piles so we don't lose them all. Oh, yeah. Mike's not liking this. I'm not liking it either, Mike. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. That got them going uh, kind of a weird direction. Got some of them going wrong. Alright. That might be enough to actually draw away now. I'm going to draw them through this woods here. Hopefully not too many more zombies down here, actually. Okay. Now I'll do my old loop around. Maybe I have some bait blockers on me. Do I? Yeah, I do. Take some pills. And I'll grab another group and maybe move them again. But they're already moving in, so I gotta I gotta rebuild my door already, which kinda sucks. Alright, that kinda helped move them away. At least uh there's still quite a bit. But I think I can get into my base now and actually do some work. I'm already drowsy. I'm not going to have a place to sleep. I didn't think that one through. Oh, well. I'll take on a couple of them. We'll kill a couple. Because we're going to probably have to kill a lot. That's just how it goes. Alright. I don't know if I want to kill this many right now. But I guess if we have to, we have to. It's going to be a lot of killing this uh, this run. This episode. Hmm. Alright, starting to get too many of them. So, I'm going to do another one of my loops around and then uh, grab a lot of these zombies out of here if I can. Okay. Uh, you're going a little fast for me. Okay. I want to keep these zombies kind of close to me. And we'll see if we can pull them away. I wish I had my shotgun so I could pull them away a little bit. A little bit easier. Alright, that should be good. Now they're really on me. They're really on me now. That's good. That's exactly what I want. Oh man, look at how fast that guy is. Man. Cosby sweater. He got a Cosby sweater on too. It's crazy. Alright, we're gonna go ahead, bring him over here, and then I think I'm gonna loop over around upwards this time. Yeah. Wow, I didn't expect to have this many zombies this early, so it is quite unexpected. I was hoping I could just come right here through the woods, but yeah, I'm going to get even more zombies this way. Okay. <laughs> Man, it is not, this is maybe not the best place. Um, hmm. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not feeling it right now. I did make a chair. I could make another chair. It's not a bad idea. And then I can make it upstairs, sledgehammer the the um, stairs away so I don't have those stairs in the way. And then I can actually be safe. But first things first is make a door. Okay, so I drew most of the zombies away from me, I think. 
Yeah, I think I'm doing all right. I got a zombie at the door over on the right here, I see. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay, as long as we can get back into our house. Well, our base right now. This is our house right now. All right, didn't expect it to be this soon, but it's okay. Okay, they did get in here, but I think I have enough planks to make a door. I don't know. I gotta make this door pretty quick, though. Oh, I don't even know if I have the hinges. I didn't even think about that. I probably only have one hinge, huh? A doorknob and one hinge. Oh, that's just wonderful. One hinge. I need to go get another hinge. Hmm. I could just put a chair upstairs, though. That c might be the smartest idea. Okay. Um. Hmm. I have to think this through a little bit. Because I'm going to need to get some sleep right now. i got to make this door. I mean, it's just, it's just not safe. Okay, so... Okay, let's put the planks down with these planks. That's fine. Oh, okay. Are there any more of you guys just coming back there? No? Okay. So I gotta make the... Okay, I, I'm trying to think this through. Maybe I'd just go to sleep, bring some, uh, and then just sledgehammer this. Uh, I have to go get items for this. Everything I need to go is to go get items. Okay, let's put some of these things away. I don't need them on me. I don't need that on me. Don't need that on me. Let's go ahead and eat this energy bar because I'm going to have to stay awake for a while. And uh, yeah, put the doorknob on the ground and the hinge too. Okay, where's the hinge? There it is. We need one more hinge. So we're going to go adventure through here. I left this door open. Hopefully. Yeah, they're ba pounding on this door right here. That's okay. I hate working in the dark. So let's zoom in a little bit so we can see. Any more hinges over here? No. Okay, I'm hearing zombies again. Oh, yeah. Okay. That sucks. I'm going to run outside, see what we got. Got a pretty good pile right here. Let me go ahead and grab them. Let's see how bad this whole area has been overran. If it's just one area or if it's been the whole, like, uh, lumber yards. Okay, doorknob. It looks like almost all the lumber yard. Yeah, I'm not going to go in there right now. I'm kind of hoping to just keep pulling them this way. That's fine. Let's go eat some more of that energy bar. Energy bar. I know I ate you. Did I eat it all already? Hmm. I guess I did. All right, let's eat a quarter of that. Okay, it looks like this side, not as bad. All right, that's actually uh, good. Maybe I can get some sleep and then think about dealing with this in the morning. Hmm, not an awful idea. I could probably sleep here, just like, no, I probably shouldn't. Hmm, I'd like to be able to craft a chair or something. Ah. You know what, if I can get down to the bottom one, it'd probably be better. Yeah, because I, I probably drew a lot of zombies this way. So let's see if I can go down over here. No, there, it's one above, isn't it? There's one above. Okay, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for a little sleep in here and hope that this uh, works out for me. I think it's the only sleep I'm going to be able to get. And I'm only going to sleep four hours at first and see if we hear zombies. Nothing yet. Okay, let's sleep another four hours. That should be our full sleep at least. Okay, I don't hear anything. That's good. All right, full canteen. Um, I want to take a look. Maybe I have a shotgun. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay, I do got a shotgun. I'm going to equip that now. And let's get some shotgun shells. And then we're just going to pull these zombies away from here. Because we can't deal with this many right now. We're just not ready for it. Oh, there's some shotgun shells. It's awesome. I know I did. Like, were they right here? Where were they? Oh, they're there. Okay. Alright. Now, I'm going to go back over to my area and then see if we can just draw them away. We're going to have to do kind of a 
a long draw away. Yeah. Take them a long ways out so then they're not by my place, my establishment anymore. Because I do got to do work there. Okay. Yeah, there's just too many over here. It's not good. Uh, I think I'll just start firing right now. This is going to get them moving towards me at least. And that's fine. That's fine. There comes the big piles of them. Okay. Now if we could just gather them all. And I'll bring them back uh, maybe towards the other end. Uh, the, uh, the other side of the logging camps. I think that would probably be good. I'm going to take some beta blockers so I'm not getting super slow. Okay. And let's see how many we can just gather up real quick. Before this becomes a major problem. We'll gather them right here for a little bit. This should keep them coming uh, our way. I would like to get a little bit closer to my end of the building, but I think this will be all right. Okay. Yeah, we're keeping them moving. That's good. I I, I don't want to use too many shots. I only had 12 on me, so there were six in there. I don't think I have any more rounds actually, so. Got to be a little careful. Okay. Got to make sure they keep coming too though. So maybe I'll come back in here a little bit. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now they're moving kind of in the direction I wanted them to. Just kind of away. And I might grab them again. We'll see. We'll see how this side looks now. Yeah, I knew there was going to be left a lot of them over here. Dang it. Alright. Yeah, yeah. You guys are at least moving the right way, though. Let's take a look over here. And then what am I going to do? Shoot them back the other way? Hmm. I don't like that idea, either. Okay. If I start drawing from this side... That's kind of what I want to do. Just start drawing them down. And then I'll make some more noise when I get down here. Okay. Yeah, I ain't got no more bullets. How many bullets do I have in the shotgun right now? Two plus one, so I got three. Three bullets. Got to make sure I use these smart, smartly here. Smartly. That's a that's a a word. Yes, it is. Okay. I should have grabbed more rounds. I guess. I didn't think I was gonna go through this many. Okay. So you guys just keep coming down this way. You guys are doing good. Just uh. Hurting all the sheep. Okay. All right, it's not bad. It's not bad. I think I might be out. No, I got a couple more. Okay, I do. I got a couple more rounds. That's good. And then if I do like a shot over here, I think they'll just keep them going in the direction I want. Yeah. That should work out pretty well. There was a gunshot overnight, one of the nights, um, that was literally, like, during, uh, <laughs> it was literally in the middle of, um, uh, in the middle of the night, and it was literally, like, right beside me. Okay, knew that was happening soon. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That is fine. Okay, so I probably drew more zombies to me, though. So, oh well, let's see if we can wrap around now and hopefully that took care of my problems. Okay. A little scary though, you know, I've been just building this base, I just started building it. I didn't think it would get overran this fast, but it did. Oh, hold on a sec. Alrighty there. And I could cut through these woods if I want to, but I'm not going to yet. I think I'll go down to the next entry point and see if a lot of those zombies I pulled over the other way, see what happened to them. I can get more shotgun rounds, and maybe that's what we'll do for the rest of the episode. So let me put in a little cut for you guys. Um, I'll go ahead and get over there. Once I get over to the other side, we'll see what it looks like. All right, be right back. All right, I'm just getting into the other end right now, and I think our plan is kind of working. I haven't really checked by my base yet, 
but it looks like it's, it's working out pretty well. Like this area is cleared out right now. And remember I drew them this way first. So maybe this is going to work out. I don't know. Um, but I do want to get some more shotgun shells since I'm here. And then if we have to pull them out again, that's fine. So then we'll be ready for it. We got to be ready for it in just in case. Just making sure I get all, like, um, at least, I don't know, maybe a box or two worth of shotgun shells. There we go. Okay, it's overweighting me. Just go ahead and reload. Don't you have your... I had the shotgun equipped. Why isn't he equipped anymore? Equip both hands. Okay, go ahead and, go ahead and reload up. Load up. Get ready. Yeah, this will, I think, will work out pretty well. I know I'm looking again through these. I remember I had, I could have picked up the shotgun shells already. Now I'm, like, hating it. I was literally saving it for, I was like, okay, what I want to do is get, like, maybe, um, just get my base kind of settled in a little bit and then move on out. But that just hasn't been working out. I was like, okay, move on upstairs. As soon as I can get upstairs, start moving all, all the stuff in these boxes upstairs. And that, that was going to be the plan, but they came a lot quicker than I thought they would. So that kind of, that plan is now not so great anymore. So we got the shotgun handy now. We have everything we need to actually take them on. Um, I do have, I don't need that saw right there. What do I have? I have my combat knife. I do have an axe on me. Okay. Let's go take a look, see how far we drew them away. I think we drew them away enough, but we'll find out right now when I get back home. Oh, oh, while we're out, might as well, right? I didn't even think about that. Might as well get another a door hinge if we can. Uh, there's a, okay, combat knife. Let's clear this out a little bit. Yeah, if I can get right now, if I can get myself another door hinge, that'd be great. Okay. Right here, and where's my axe? with this primary come on you can do it god I need to fast forward through this just now wow okay just to unpack something right just because we're already overweight all right hopefully we get a hinge off of this door as long as we get one more hinge we'll be fine there we go some hinges just put that in our regular all right and then um move the axe back over here and then let's equip that both hands just in case we need to pull them away. And we're a little peckish. What type of, was this even a good shotgun? I, I got a choke tube. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, not seeing any yet. This is good, it's looking clear again. I might've cleared it all out. There was also a little bit of a meta noise too when I was walking around the long way. And that might've pulled some too, so hopefully that did. Okay, not seeing anything yet. Yeah, if it can get at least like a day or two more, I would really appreciate it. God, I, I'd appreciate being able to work on my uh, base a little bit more. I haven't even been able to destroy my stairs and uh, make all the ropes I was going to go up. I knew there was going to be a lot of zombies, but I didn't think it was going to be so soon. We're only like, what, how many days have we been going with, Mike? Let's take a look. Uh, we're one month, three days, so it's quite a bit of zombies to deal with pretty early on. Okay, this, I think, I think it did it. Oh my god. What a mess that was. That little horde just came walking through here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and equip that as primary. i got to get everything upstairs now. Really got to focus on that. Put our shotgun away. And then, yeah, get a nice little sleeping area for upstairs. Okay, we still have some over here. How many do we have over here? If it's just a couple, I'll take care of them right now. Is, is that it? Oh my god. That was that was a little bit precarious. That could have been really awful and it could have really ended up really bad for us having that many zombies around us that early. I probably still have a lot of zombies in the warehouse. I do got to be careful. So, that is something we have to make sure that we're doing. Okay, come on, guys. You guys got to creep on me, man. That's what I expect from you. Don't worry about it. All right. How about you? You don't want you don't care, man. You don't care that I just came right up behind you and stabbed you in the in the neck. 
Okay. All right. That should have cleared out the outside. Yeah, outside's looking good. And I am probably have some zombies. Nah, not even any out here. That's pretty good. None on the outskirts there. Let's go ahead and build our door right now. Uh, door frame we already have. We need a wooden door. What, what are we missing? Oh, hinges are in the... In my other inventory, they're in my Alice bag. Alright, so let's build um, a wooden door. Now give us a little bit of protection. Not much, but a little bit. Okay. And then we can go take a look what's in the warehouse right now. Maybe even get some sleep. That would be amazing. Where's my combat knife? Right there. Okay. Alright. Nobody's in the immediate base area, like right here. It looks like if they, they're they not in here either, so I can sleep. That would be nice. You know, this water bucket has been amazing. It hasn't gone dry yet. I'm waiting for it to happen, but it will. It will. Okay, there are zombies in here. There's at least one. There's a little bit of a group in here. Okay. Maybe I can, if I could take on a few at a time, that would work out. Come on. Come on. I know one went in here. Come on, did I did I get any of you guys yet? Yeah, I got some of you. Okay, don't like fighting indoors because of the darkness, but it's okay as long as we can As long as we can take them out pretty easily. Let's see if any of other ones went in here. No. Okay. Alright, got a couple more here. There might be some upstairs because I saw one go upstairs and then come back down. So there might be some there. Alright, you two are dead. I got you that went out the window right here. I'm just going to call out now. See if I can get zombies to come to me. Alright, she's coming in. That's good. I don't have a zombie coming from upstairs yet, so maybe there's none up here. Nope, none up here. Okay. All right, that might have that should have took care of them all, I think. I mean, we got to be a little careful now. I can't go wandering around this place right now. Okay, let's take a look over here. Just, just make sure. Got to always make sure. All right, looks like we're safe for now, but this is gonna happen over and over again. So I do got to get some sleep right now and then rethink about uh, building my base. I was gonna show you what I did with my base. I did make my kiln and my smelter. I'm gonna bring those upstairs pretty soon. Um, let me show you the upstairs. I'm doing some work up here. I got to build some fencing. This is going to be my house area and I'll show you guys uh, on the next episode because this one we had to do a lot of clearing so that's unfortunate. Um, and then I'm going to be living, I'm going to be doing all my crafting and stuff like that up here and this is also where I'm going to put cows and things like that, all my dogs. Um, everything's going to be up here for crafting and my house will be right down here and then we're going to knock out these stairs right here we don't need these stairs after we get in a whole bunch of sheet ropes so then we can live upstairs up there so that should work out pretty well so i hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see further thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day